extension because it has been there for about 25 years. Sabi ng batas, okay na. Only if you adhere to journalistic. So, ang ginawa ninyo sa amin, it's tough, ah, swinding, not only me, but Jesus Cudero, pati si ano, marami pa yan. Inutso ninyo, utak ina harapan, magkulikta kayo, tapos istapa ninyo kami. Oh, so, I will file a complaint. Uh, uh, no long, uh, uh, Congress, uh, no need to renew it. Wait, sir, just to clarify, you, you're going to block the renewal of franchise of ABS? Yeah, but we crime. So you're going to block the... Yes! Kung ganun ka na, ano, you are engaged in swindling. Ilan kaming mga kandidato na kinuha ninyo ang pera namin, but never aired our propaganda. Ako, Chis Escudero, lahat kami. Pero yung propaganda ni Trillanes portraying children and which is really a prohibited act under the rules of uh, the election code in spite of the fact na may TRO. Na huwag ninyong ipalabas, pinalabas ninyo. Ay, wala ko ba, but someday, you know, hindi ko tinatakot, but but someday yung karma nila dadating. Talagang mga hiya ang mga journalista na. Sabihin ko sa iyo, talagang walang hiya pati yung ABS-CBN. When you Henry Lopez Jr. founded ABS-CBN, he decreed that ABS-CBN's business was to be in public service. That statement led to a clear articulation of our long-standing mission to be in the service of the Filipino. Araw-araw, lahat po kami sa ABS-CBN ay nagpapasalamat dahil sa pagkakataong magbigay serbisyo sa bawat Pilipino. In the last 25 years of our existing franchise, we believe we have delivered a service that is meaningful and valuable to the Filipino people. While our commitment to serve is genuine, we also acknowledge that we are not a perfect organization. Where we have shortcomings, we acknowledge them, and we work to correct them. May pagkukulang man kami, mas matimbang ang aming adhikain na makapaglingkod. We would also like to state that we have not broken the law or violated any of the provisions of our franchise. We thank the Senate for inviting us today, and we welcome the opportunity to shed light on the issues that have been raised against us. Mga kapamilya, kayo po ang tanging dahilan kung bakit may ABS-CBN. Maraming salamat po. Um, my understanding is there are two issues that we need to reply to. One is the failure to air the president's ads, and the second one is uh, the reasons behind why the ad of Senator Trillanes was aired. So let me start with the first one, which is the failure to air the president's ads. Just to provide context, we have two kinds of political ads that are sold to candidates. The first one is a national ad, which is seen all over the country. And the second one is a local ad, which is normally seen within just a specific province. For the national ads, we have an allocation of 19 minutes of commercial airtime per hour. And for local ads, we have an allocation of only two minutes of airtime per hour. Doon po sa Presidente, uh, the President placed an order for 117 million pesos worth of national ads, of which we aired all 117 million. Uh, in other words po, 100% of the President ads, which were ordered for a national airing, were accommodated and broadcast and aired by the station. Doon po sa local ads, nagka-problema talaga kami because we only have uh, two minutes of airtime per hour. In the case of the local ads, the president placed an order of 65 million worth of spots, of which we failed to air uh, 7 million pesos worth. Um, our policy on all our ads is first come, first serve. And many of these spots were placed, were ordered on uh, May 3rd, and May 7th was the last day of the campaign period. So there had been many. Um, previous telecast orders that were already ahead, that came in ahead of the president's telecast order. 
So that being said, of the 7 million po na hindi namin na ere, we were able to refund approximately 4 million pesos to the president and that was accepted. We were delayed in refunding the 2.6 million, which Senator Go uh, flashed on the screen, and that 2.6 million was no longer accepted by the president. Uh, on this issue, I think we acknowledge our shortcoming in our failure to release that refund in a timely manner. Uh, and and uh, we corrected that so that in 2019, our policy is uh, seven days. If your spot is not aired, the check should be back with the client or with the advertiser within seven days. So we acknowledge po our shortcoming dun po sa refund. Dun naman po sa ad ni Senator Trillanes, um, under the Fair Election uh, Act, if I'm be allowed to read, no? for, uh, for the purpose of this act, lawful election pro propaganda shall include, uh, in Section 4, any broadcast of election propaganda by television or radio for or against a candidacy. That, to us, po, was the first reason why our internal uh, committee gave a green light to the ad. That the second reason why the committee gave a green light to the ad was they felt that Unlike the first version of the ad, which we rejected because we felt that the children were performing inappropriate uh, uh, actions or behaviors, there was a revised version of the ad, which Senator Go showed earlier, that showed the children merely asking questions. And so we felt that it did not um, violate any of our internal policies. Uh, the, the third reason why our ethics committee decided to push through with airing the ad, is under the KBP uh, code, we are required not to discriminate against any candidate. In other words, any candidate that comes to our station with an ad that is legal and legitimate must be accommodated. Um, unlike unlike um, the ads of the president that we were unable to air, all of these ads were aired on a national basis, part of the 19 minutes per hour and not part of the local two minutes per hour, which is why there was enough inventory to accommodate that. Um, you know, at the end of this whole discussion, I think we, we were sorry if we offended the president. That was not the intention of the network. Um, we felt that we were just abiding by the laws and regulations that surround uh, the airing of political ads. And I think Today, we want to make a categorical statement together with our chairman, uh, Mark Lopez, that ABS does not and will not have its own political agenda. Alam mo, ako kasi naging kandidato rin ako ilang beses na eh. Lahat kami dito. Masakit talaga pag nagkakaroon ng mga inaere na kontra sa'yo o maaring makasira sa'yo. Subalit, Kung ito naman ay makatotohanan, kung may basihan, eh siguro mahirap pigilan, no? Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding? I do, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay, sir. Your Honor, with regard to the question on... Um... Uh, any violations pending between uh, ABS-CBN and the Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, at this time, Your Honor, we are not aware of any uh, violation or any ongoing complaint or investigation involving ABS-CBN, although we would like to add, Your Honor, that does not preclude uh, ABS-CBN is a listed company that's subject to repertorial requirements. It's also a corporation subject to repertorial requirements. So as far as we know right now, there's no pending violation. doesn't preclude... Uh, possible uh, investigation in the future. Maraming salamat sa una. Please answer the question of Senator Villanueva. Uh, by the way, ma'am, uh, our division, our, uh, our division where I was, I am assigned now is uh, no one currently monitoring the tax compliance of ABS-CBN. Ngayon pa lang ninyo, Chinachev? 
Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, in charge po ako sa, ang tawag dito, sa division na yun, uh, monitoring the tax compliance of uh, ABS event. So, ano pong napag-alaman uh, ninyo? Well, as far as ABS event account is concerned, uh, they are uh, regularly filing and paying their taxes for the past number of years, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Uh, for the past uh, uh, years, 2016 up to 2019, except for the income tax uh, for the 2019, which is to be filed this April, except for that, the total tax payment of uh, ABS-CBN is 14 billion 398,464,316.66 centavos to be exact. Ano to isang isang taon lang ito? No, ma'am. Uh, uh, from, from 2016 to 2019, except for the income tax for 2019, sir.